hey guys welcome back to my channel happy Wednesday so we are officially in the month of April which is crazy how fast time is flying by I'm very excited for this month because it's my second daughter's birthday and she's turning two so it's definitely something exciting and definitely something to look forward to in this month for me and my family but anyway let's get into what this video is going to be about which is my March favorites what I'm gonna do is show you guys a couple of products that I've been using for this whole entire month, maybe even more than that. Some of the products you've already seen in a couple of videos, and some of them are going to be new to you. I'm going to show them to you guys according to how I would apply it or how I would be using them if I were doing my makeup right now. So with that being said, let's just get started. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is this eyeshadow palette. Um, I don't always wear eyeshadow depends on how much time I have to do my makeup or the mood that I'm in but um, I do find that every time I am gonna wear eyeshadow this is the palette that I go to and this is the Lorac Pro palette it's the second one they have the original one which has um, warmer tone colors in it this is more of a cool tone palette but nonetheless um, I love this palette the top row has all matte shadows and the bottom row has shimmery all shimmery shadows so I definitely love that you have so many options of colors and the, the the like type of eyeshadow that you like I absolutely love this palette it's the palette that I use to do my eyeshadow today definitely the palette that I use the most out of all the ones that I have I definitely want to get my hands on the original one though I've just been like hesitating to buy it but eventually I will get it so Lorac palette definitely I recommend it and on top of that I love the packaging like I'm a sucker for packaging if something looks cute or sleek or just like you know amazing presentation is a lot presentation is a lot with makeup for me presentation is a lot when it comes to food like I just love presentation like if you take your time to show something in a beautiful way like I you know I appreciate that so I definitely like the packaging it's so sleek I love that it kind of gets dirty for some reason I don't know if you know that makes sense but I don't know I just I just like it so that's the Lorac Pro palette the Lorac Pro 2 so the next thing I want to show you guys is the foundation that I've been wearing which is the Tarte um, Amazonian clay full coverage foundation I have not stopped wearing this ever since I bought it and I showed it to you guys in a previous video so like I've said before I definitely love it on the skin I love the color match um, to my to my complexion I love how how long it wears I just absolutely love it. I love how it applies. I love the formula of it. It's not too liquidy and it's definitely not really thick. It's more of like a, a moussey type of feel to it. So definitely loving this and I am in this color. What color is this? I think it's tan. Oh, it's tan deep sand. So yeah, love this foundation. And loving this um, little beauty blender this is what I use to apply my foundation and my concealer I have not reached for my um, foundation brush in forever like I want to say like two months I have been using this forever I love this little thing right here you guys if you haven't bought it you need to go out and buy it it's amazing and you can use this for your foundation you can use it for your concealer you don't have to use two different brushes it's easy to use just wet it squeeze out all the water make sure it's damp because if it's too wet it's gonna like you know shear out your foundation and you might not want that so definitely you guys need to invest in this little bad boy and I would suggest to just get the pink original one because I bought the black one and like I said before in another video it was shedding all under my eye and it I had issues with it it didn't even get big when you wet it because it comes smaller than this and when you wet it this one's dirty and slightly big because I used it not too long ago but my black one when I wet it it got into some weird shape I don't know what was happening with it but anyway I returned it and I got the original one and I don't have any issues so yeah the beauty blender is amazeballs go out and get it the next thing I want to show you guys is a highlighter from the brand Becca and this is the packaging for the highlighter and this one is in the shade rose gold and I absolutely love this highlighter I have not put it down ever since I bought it I also have one that's very popular like I think everyone in in the world has it and it's called opal and that's a gold highlighter and it's beautiful it's amazing but it's very intense like you can't get away with you know 
acting like you're not wearing highlighter because that's just like bam like that girl is wearing highlighter it's absolutely beautiful but sometimes I don't want so much of an intense highlight and this one is gorgeous and the, also the pigmentation on it is great but it's definitely a more subtle highlight so I have been wearing this all the time like I have not put it down it is so creamy it's so buttery I'm gonna swatch it I don't know if you'll be able to see it you should be able to see it you can see it right there like I don't know if you can see it very well, but on the on the on your face, it looks amazing. Like I definitely recommend this if you don't want so much of an intense intense highlight because Opal, like I said, is beautiful. But sometimes, you know, I rather that for like the nighttime. It's not like for every day I'm going out in the morning. Let me throw on this Opal on my face and be shining bright like a diamond from nine o'clock in the morning. So I definitely love rose gold. It's amazing. The next thing I have to show you guys is this um, NARS bronzer. I bought this over a month ago, I want to say, and I have not stopped using it at all. Like, I absolutely love this bronzer. And I don't know if you can see through the camera, but when you look at it in the compact, it has like slight shimmer on in it, but when you apply it to your face, it doesn't have that shimmer. And I, per I personally wouldn't want shimmer in my bronzer, because I don't, I don't, not a fan of having like shimmery face, except like in the highlight area, but not like all over my face. And this bronzer is just perfect. It's not, doesn't give me an orangey feel. It just gives me a nice warm glow to my face. So I absolutely love it. I have not stopped using it. And I would recommend um, the color, the the shade Laguna for girls that are lighter than me. And I recommend this if you have my complexion or you're a little deeper in complexion. But Laguna is also very popular, but it just was slightly too light for me. So if you're lighter in this in skin tone, definitely try out Laguna because it's also a very, very nice bronzer. So moving along, I wanted to show you guys this mascara. Now, I've been using this mascara for a long time, like definitely way more than a, than a month or two months or three months. Um, and it's called Extended Play Giga Black Lash from MAC. Now, I love this mascara. It's it's my the mascara I use for my lower lash line because the the brush is so tiny. It's so skinny. Like it's not tiny like in like you know le lengthwise. It's a long brush, but it's so skinny and it's perfect to get into your lower lash line because what I can't stand is when I'm doing my makeup and you know I have everything already done and I'm doing my lashes and then I get a whole bunch of spots under my lashes and you have to go in and clean up and it just turns me off so much. So I found this um this mascara and it's so thin. Like I said, like I absolutely love it. It's perfect. But today I actually used it on my upper lashes as well and it's amazing. Like it gives me so much length and separates my lashes so pretty like I absolutely love it like I've always loved it for my lower lashes but it's definitely good for for top and bottom like you can't go wrong again it's called Mac extended play giga black lash it's a mouthful to say but absolutely love this mascara you guys should definitely try it out if you have issues with your bottom lashes because I know that can get annoying and I'm sorry I have a couple things to show you here so I'm like rambling on um, for lips, I wanted to just show you guys this lipstick from MAC. It's called Please Me. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before. It's just the, uh, the, it's a nice neutral everyday wearable color. Um, a nice light pink. It's just the color that if I don't know what to put on my lips, this is what I go for. I throw on some lip gloss on top of it. Sometimes I wear it by itself and I'm out the door. So again, Please Me by MAC. And now I want to show you guys two brushes that I have not stopped using. This one's mighty dirty because I use it all the time. Um, I love these brushes. Now this one is the Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush, the F40. This has to be by far the softest brush I've ever had in my entire life. Like it is no joke. I wish you can feel it right now. It is so soft. Like it's like a marshmallow, like a cloud, like I don't, I'm in love with this brush. I wish all my brushes were as soft as this. I don't understand how it could be so soft, but it is. Anyway, I love this brush. I use it all the time and I use it to contour. I use it to just, you know, give myself some warmth with my bronzer. Um, you can use it to like 
do a, like a very precise contour or usually I don't really go so so in with the contour like to have it so defined I like to just warm up my face so I just go in circular motion circular motions around my face around my temples on my forehead but this is a perfect um, brush to contour with I absolutely love it it's the perfect size and it just feels so amazing it feels like butter on your skin so again it's the Sigma F40 now this one is the Sigma F10 powder blush and this one's really soft as well it's very soft I would say the, the contour one is softer but this one is very soft as well and I love it because I love how it just sits right on the apples of my cheeks and it's the perfect size and it's also super super soft I have not stopped using these brushes I have not reached for the, the other brushes I used to use for my blush or my contour absolutely recommend these two love 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 them Okay, I have two more things and then I'm done. So the next thing I want to mention is this Urban Decay setting spray. So yeah, love this Urban Decay setting spray. Either the Chill Makeup setting spray or the All Nighter. Doesn't matter which one it is. I absolutely love, love, love. Can't do my makeup without it. You just spray this bad boy across your face a couple of times when you're done with your makeup. Or you could even prep your face with it before. But I always use it when I'm done with my makeup. And my face just feels refreshed and amazing love it you have to get your hands on this they have a smaller size if you want to check it out for I think like anywhere between 12 and 15 bucks this one I think costs like 30 so if you just want to try it buy the small one and then you get yourself the big one if you really love it and the last thing I want to show you guys I haven't been using this for the whole month of March because I recently just got it but I love it so much that I had to mention it again and it's this um, cleanser makeup remover um, from Perlise love this thing like I told you guys before that it takes off all my eyeliner all my mascara in just one shot it's absolutely amazing it's gentle on your face it feels milky it doesn't have a strong scent it's good for sensitive skin like you can't go wrong with this and I linked them you guys I, I don't think you can see very well because the lighting is bad like the sun is shining on it but anyway I'll link all the information down below so if you didn't catch anything from what I was saying it's gonna be down below so check everything out down below. Like I said, this is the Perlis um, Pure Delicate Gentle Soy Milk Cleanser and Makeup Remover. Amazing. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to be ordering the full size because I absolutely love it. Wow, so I am done, guys. Those are all the things I've been using for a month or even more consistently. Those are all my go-to products for right now. Hopefully, you guys liked a couple of things and want to check it out for yourself. And yeah, guys, um, keep having a great day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.